My name is Darren Hoover, and I'm the Gold Star Father of United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover. Kamala, I want you to understand, and I know it will be difficult for you because you lack empathy and basic understanding. The events that happened on August 26, 2024, with President Trump at Arlington National Cemetery were solemn and in keeping with the reverence and respect that is given to all members of our military that are buried there, we invited President Trump. We are the ones that asked for the video and the pictures to be taken at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. This was a very solemn wreath laying in our son's name along with the Sergeant Nicole G family as well as two of our catastrophically injured military members that were there on that horrific day in the honor of our Abbey Gate 13. We then moved to the grave site where our children are buried. Again, we asked the Trump team to take the videos, take the pictures of our time there. President Trump then laid a wreath at the grave side of Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Christian Canals. There he talked to both his mother and father. He did, President Trump then moved to our son's grave where we were surrounded by our family and friends where we talked about Taylor and his sacrifice to this country. Let me be clear. There was no politics discussed, none whatsoever. There was also not an assault that we observed take place, or did we hear it? I don't know where this is coming from, but it's disgusting and gross. From the President Trump has been there for us from the very beginning when our son and the other 12 of his brothers and sisters in arms were murdered due to your negligence and uncaring attitude towards our military. Don't forget, Kamala, you were the last one in the room. You and Joe Biden made the final decision on how to pull out of Afghanistan. You created the chaos and mayhem for the military to accomplish their goals. Our sons and daughters made the best of a difficult situation as they had been trained to do. They adapted and overcame all of that and came out as heroes, something that you will never know or understand. Kamala, we have been treated with the utmost respect, compassion, and understanding by President Trump, something you and Joe Biden have refused to do since August 26, 2021. No. Where were you and Joe Biden on August 26, 2024? Nowhere near Arlington Cemetery. You couldn't be bothered to be with us or even say our kids' names, just as you have done for the last three years. Neither one of you have called to speak with us or share in our grief. I wonder, Kamala, do you sleep at night securely in your bed? Or do you have nightmares? of our kids because it was your incompetence and negligence that got our kids murdered. It is you who sends out messages on social media that are outright lies. It is you that has disrespected our families. It is you who knows nothing about service and sacrifice. It is you that has divided this country and it is you who is unfit to be the commander-in-chief. These are the only memories we get to make with our son, and it is you who is playing politics and trying to detract from our memories made that day. You should be ashamed and embarrassed at your lack of empathy and decency as a human being. You are only in this for the power and prestige. You don't care for our military or the citizens of this country. You should hang your head in shame at your actions or lack thereof. 
you need to move aside, get out of the way, and stop, stop hindering the progress, growth, and independence of this great nation.